so we uh, just saw the classifications again i'm reminding you uh, local roots and systemic roots of classifications there are two main important roots now we'll discuss all these important roots in detail with their advantages and disadvantages let's first talk about systemic root in systemic root the main thing is more systemic exposure so in, for an example local root it's like for an example you can remember local root is like uh, applying a cream or the lotion on a skin where systemic root is you are giving or introducing the drug inside the body so more systemic exposure would be there it would go into the bloodstream as well and all over distribution including the site of action so these are the systemic root where you are exposing drug to the systems actually into the blood streams and it gets distributed all over the body or including site of action now first important root is oral root it's a most common root of drug administration mostly we use these drugs mostly we are giving drugs orally especially if patient is cooperative and taking the drug and willing to take the drug so what are the advantages of choosing the oral root these are some logical things it's a safe first of all okay you didn't need to prick you didn't need to you know uh, compromise patient's comfort so it's a very safe it's a convenient self administered patient can take them themselves where for an example if you want to introduce this through parenteral route or through for an example intramuscular injections you need skill hands so patient cannot introduce by themselves they need a paramedical staff so that this drug can get introduce inside the body so it's a very safe route convenient it's a self administration route it's a pain free obviously the drugs with the routes we are choosing to give in parenteral routes are having a bit pain or discomfort it's non invasive it's easy to take economical compared to other parenteral routes obviously because in other parenteral route there is a cost comes in case of iv routes for an example parenteral routes for an example if we are going in hospitals you need to first introduce iv line intra cath uh, uh, infusion bottle uh, iv set so all these things includes uh, or adds your cost as well so suffering plus cost so uh, comparative to that oral route is quite convenient and that is why patient also prefers this route and no need for any sterilizations where in parenteral route you need to sterilize all those stuffs as well but what are disadvantages of this oral route slow in action cannot be used in emergency that is the main disadvantage for an example if patient comes in emergency and it requires immediate action and if you are giving a tablet it takes time to get absorbed it first goes inside your stomach from stomach it gets absorbed form it goes to the venous circulation first pass metabolism and then it reaches to the circulation so two things are there it will take more time and second as we saw in first pass metabolism the limited fraction gets absorbed or reaches to the side of action second disadvantage of this oral route it's it's irritable and sometimes unpalatable drugs would be there so that will produce Of, uh, sensations of nausea and vomiting so some drugs are uh, really bitter in smell or bitter in taste they would be having a metallic taste so they would be unpalatable and irritable as well some anti malarial drugs would be quite irritant to your gastrointestinal tract cannot be used in uncooperative patients for an example if patient is unconscious if patient is having tremendous vomiting okay so in or, or patient is having any uh, psychiatric problems so he is he is uncooperative so in all these conditions you just cannot administer drug orally so you need to choose another route first pass effects we just saw some drugs destroyed by digestive juices and liver so you cannot give those drugs because it gets destroyed by uh, liver acidity uh, sorry uh, uh, stomach acidity variable drug absorptions like we saw a uh, few drug get absorbed better few not so this this absorption is variable some drugs are not absorbed like uh, streptomycin not gets absorbed okay through uh, 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 through stomach or intestine or the gi tract 
so you need to give those drugs parenterally or through other routes so oral route is not helpful for them because some drugs get destroyed by stomach acidity absorption is variable there would be first pass effect so many factors are there which are goes in the favor of disadvantages of this oral route there are chances of food drug interactions because food also uh, goes through same route so there would be chance of food drug interactions if you are administering another drug a uh, drug there would be chances of drug drug interactions because you know when a prescriber prescribes uh, of more than one drug you need to take these drugs so there are chances of adverse drug reactions as well so all these are disadvantages of oral route which dosage forms are there we'll go all, uh, in detail of this dosage form in your practical sessions but let's see uh, in a just a superficial way that there are different dosage forms of this oral route you can give drugs orally through capsules through powders tablets spencules spencules uh, if you know spencule are kind of capsules only but they would be having granules inside and those granules get gets uh, you know disintegrated uh, and it takes longer time so that drug remains in your body for a longer time and you need to take less amount of drug Uh, in less frequency rather of that particular drug you can also introduce drugs through oral form through syrups emulsions suspensions elixirs so all are different dosage forms through which you can administer drug orally second route uh, in this uh, session is sublingual route it is also called as buccal route right as you can see in picture here you need to put a tablet sublingually below the tongue especially so tablet is placed under the tongue or it is basically crushed so tablet is placed under the tongue or it is crushed in mouth and spread over the buccal mucosa so here the main mechanism or the logic is you need to spread the drug inside the buccal mucosa okay so the example is glyceryl trinitrate that is the most commonly used drug buprenorphin disamino oxytocin so what happens when you uh, place a drug underneath your tongue or when you spread the drug in your buccal mucosa buccal mucosa is very having a rich blood supply so buccal mucosa is very rich in blood supply so this drug gets absorbed very quickly and most importantly directly directly where directly into systemic circulation so drugs directly goes into the systemic circulations where what happened what what was used to happen in first pass metabolism where we were introducing drug through oral route it was going into the liver where it was getting metabolized and then it was reaching the systemic circulation so laser fraction was reaching the systemic circulation then it was taking more time while here because of rich blood supply it goes directly into the systemic circulations remember few of the examples <laughs> what is the disadvantages and what are the advantages first let's talk about advantages so it's a quick absorption same time quick termination of action as well so action gets terminated quickly and you can spit the drug after the action is achieved and first pass metabolism is avoided so that is the main thing quick actions first pass metabolism gets bypassed and if you achieve the action you can spit it out the drug but disadvantage would be you need to give uh smaller quantities larger quantities of drug cannot be given if you want to give larger quantities this is not the route okay so it's an emergency condition where you need quick actions uh actions on in uh, without going into the first pass metabolism this is the best way a simple example is for an example if you have seen uh patients of myocardial infarction if patient is having a chest pain and ccg showing some changes of myocardial infarction the the doctors or the paramedical staff even introducing sorbitrol tablet sublingually they just put the sorbitrol tablet sublingually and that helps relieving the pain 
थर्ड थिंग इज द रेक्टल रूट ओके इंट्रोड्यूसिंग ड्रग रेक्टली सो हियर रेक्टली यू कैन गिव ड्रग्स टू फ्यू डिफरेंट वेज सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ड्रग इज मिक्स विथ वैक्सी सब्सेंस एंड दैट इज gets dissolved or liquefies after it's inserted into the rectum so it can be administered as a suppository which is been shown here which is rectal suppository and second is retention enema where you are introducing drug in liquid form so you are introducing drug rectally and how it works is once you introduce drugs rectally that suppository or the liquid form from which the active substance gets absorbed through external hemorrhoidal vein okay which bypasses the liver and goes directly into the systemic circulation and it's also gets absorbed through internal hemorrhoidal vein so you know the two things it's same like buccal mucosa the sublingual route well sublingual route was also uh, using the same mechanism where drugs was getting absorbed into the systemic route here it's also the same thing drug gets absorbed but it's through external hemorrhoidal veins and internal hemorrhoidal veins mostly the external hemorrhoidal veins the portion which gets absorbed goes directly into the systemic circulations so this drug again it's very helpful in unconscious patients or child or pediatric patients where uh, you just introduce a drug in the rectum and it will get absorbed very quickly examples are diazepam indomethacin diazepam we use generally as a calming medications or these medications also helpful in case of convulsions indomethacin paracetamol in case of high grade fever to reduce the fever especially in pediatric patients there are febrile chances of febrile convulsions because of higher temperatures so to control those temperature they are just introducing a paracetamol suppositories in the rectum and even ergotamine so just remember few of the drugs uh, with an example and what is this rectal route what are advantages and disadvantages of this route uh advantages would be irritant and unpleasant drugs can be given irritant and unpleasant means those irritant to uh, gastrointestinal tract so those drugs which are irritant to gastrointestinal tract especially of oral route can be given to this route you can use or access this route in case of emergencies vomiting or the patient is unconscious as i told you earlier it's a very good drug to use especially in this condition in pediatric patients but disadvantage is it's bit inconvenient bit difficult if patient is conscious or uh, it would be uncomfortable for him or her unpredictable absorptions um, you know this absorption is unpredictable because few drugs get absorbed or few amount of a drug gets absorbed to internal hemorrhoidal vein into the direct systemic circulation few gets absorbed through external hemorrhoidal vein so obviously it's not 100% so it would be unpredictable absorption but yes advantage is that there would be quicker actions and uh, more irritant drugs which may irritate or damage the mucosa that may also damage the rectal mucosa and there are chances of rectal inflammation as well so irritant drug usually we do not use through this route but uh, the gastro irritant uh, drugs can be used so these were some advantages and disadvantages of this rectal route so hope you were clear about all this route there are many routes still it's coming uh, thank you for listening to it uh, and if you are having any queries uh, do let me know in your comment box and i will try and solve them thank you